I just felt the head shake, like how she almost almost fell a little bit. I felt like a real shake. Down 10, the Bay Area gets a couple shakes tonight. Two earthquakes reported this evening, one of them happening near SFO. Plus, much of the Bay Area under critical fire danger for the weekend with a red flag warning going into effect in just a handful of hours. And an East Bay family and community are remembering Camarion Tucker, a 16-year-old who was shot and killed at a house party in the East Bay. But police say they are letting the suspect they arrested out of jail. Now, in fun time, from the Bay Area's local news station, you're watching Carnival News at 10. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight on Carnival News at 10 o'clock. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Noelle Bello. Much of the Bay Area bracing for what could be a dangerous weekend for wildfires. A red flag warning is set to go into effect in just a few hours. Let's take a look here at a map. You see the orange indicating the areas where wildfires could easily spread quickly this weekend. That warning includes many areas at higher elevations around the Bay Area and large parts of Sonoma and Napa counties. The red flag warning comes as fast winds and dry conditions are predicted starting tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. We do have team coverage tonight. Crown Force Dan Thorne mm -hmm. is live for us in Marin County, where crews there are telling people to be vigilant and stay prepared. But first, let's go to Crown Force Lawrence Cargo mm -hmm. with what we can expect this weekend. Lawrence. Yeah, these are going to be the strongest winds we've seen this season and setting up to be a major offshore wind event here in 